guys, welcome back to another week's episode. Today we're going to be changing the oil, the oil filter and the fuel filter. So if you're new here, a massive welcome. And yeah guys, today I'm going to show you how to service your car. It's really easy to do and I'm going to run you through all the steps. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so we'll start off with the oil change. Now I am using Castrol's Magnetec 15140. It's a very good oil and I've been using it for all my cars. And yeah, I really like it. So that's what we're going to do. I just came back from the shop so the engine is nice and warm as well. Make sure the engine is warm just so the oil has cycled through the engine and yeah, it will drain easily. So yeah, we're going to remove the bash plates and then we're going to undo the drain plug and then let the oil come out. Let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is use a socket set just to undo the drain plug and then you can slowly turn it out let the oil drain out. The engine oil might be warm so make sure to wear gloves just so you don't burn yourself. Once the oil has drained out make sure to use a clamp from Super Cheap Auto or any auto place just to undo the oil filter because they can be quite sticky so yeah you'll need a tool to get them out Once it's time to put on the new oil filter, make sure to lubricate the top seal just so it seals properly. Also don't over tighten it because otherwise the seal will be broken. Awesome, so once you filled up your car with oil make sure to start it up just so the oil cycles through the oil filter as well and then check the level and yeah then it should be good. If it's a tiny bit over like the second dot that's fine um, it will probably run in again once you go around the block. And then also, once the car is started up, just go and lie down on the floor and check if there's any leaks with your oil filter. And if there's none, then you're all good to go. So let's get into the fuel filter.
Awesome. So once the car is started up, make sure to go to the engine bay and just prime the gear a bit more, just so everything runs in smoothly and the car keeps idling. And then yeah, once the car keeps idling, maybe take it for a drive around the block, make sure everything works fine and check for any leaks. And you're good to go. Awesome guys, so that is your service done, oil, oil filter and a fuel filter change all done. And yeah, it's everything's working fine, there's no leaks, so happy days. Um, but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to pop it down in the comments below and I'll happily answer them for you. Make sure to like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.